Hello everyone, this video is going to be an introduction to pointers and dynamic memory allocation. So pointers are variables which can store addresses and they help us in dynamically allocating memory, implementing and managing complex data structures, optimizing the use of memory and also allow for call by reference function calls. Pointers make it possible to pass an address of a data structure rather than the entire structure itself to the functions. So the function calls become actually lightweight. So a pointer variable is preceded by an asterisk symbol and the examples are of such uh, int star ptr, char star str, etc. So some of the different types of pointers are void pointers. There are a special type of pointer where it is not associated to any particular data type. So this is known as a general purpose pointer. A null pointer is a pointer that points to nothing. A dangling pointer is a pointer that points to a memory location which has now been deallocated. And a while pointer is an uninitialized pointer. So what is dynamic memory allocation? So usually all memory which is allocated to variables is done automatically and the compiler takes care of releasing that memory as well. Dynamic memory allocation allows programmers for manual allocation and deallocation of memory. And uh, this memory is allocated from the heap. Since memory is represented symbolically using pointers, the operators that involve in dynamic memory allocation also work on pointers. So the operators in C++ which we use for dynamically allocating and deallocating memory are new and delete respectively. Now, take, now let's take a look at them in code. Right, so the general syntax for uh, declaring a pointer is data type followed by the asterisk character and the variable name. So if I want to make an integer pointer, I would write it as int star ptr. Character pointer would be of the type int star str or any name which you want to give. A floating point pointer will be star ptr2 and so on. Now, how do we actually initialize or assign a value to a pointer you cannot randomly go and just give it any address which you want to so let's say i have a variable int a is equal to 10 now to assign the address of a to ptr since pointers can only store addresses i would do something like star ptr is equal to or int star ptr is equal to address of a now uh, the ampersand here is the address of operator which returns the address of the operator a so in this way, PTR will now store the value uh, of the address of the variable A. Now let's see that in action. So see out PTR and L. So now we see that we have actually gotten a hexadecimal valued number, which is how we represent addresses. And uh, just to verify, Let's also print out the address of A to see if our two values match. We see that it is an exact match. So PTR does actually store the address of A. Now what if I want to access the value of A through PTR? How would I do that? So that is done using the dereferencing operator or the value at operator which is nothing but asterisk. So not to be confused, during declaration, having the asterisk before the pointer variable name tells the compiler that PTR is actually a pointer variable. But when, when using the pointer, whenever we use the asterisk operator, this actually refers to the value present at the memory location stored at the pointer or pointed to by the pointer. So how we would access that is using star PTR. Now let's see that in action as well. 10 and 10. So, how we store an address to a pointer is using the address of operator and how we access the value stored in a pointer, stored in the memory location pointed to by the pointer is using star ptr. Uh, I can try to explain it a bit more. So, let's assume that whenever we created the variable, uh, the pointer variable ptr, it was given an address of 1, 2, 3 and initially it will be some gibberish value. Similarly, when I created uh, the variable a, let's assume it was given an address of 456 
and it too will have some gibberish in it then we are since we are initializing it to 10 it will hold the value 10 then what we do when we write ptr is equal to address of a what happens is this number which is the address of a gets assigned to ptr so at address 1 2 3 we have a pointer variable ptr whose value is or the value which it is storing is 456 which is the address of a now whenever we try to access uh, access or use the star operator with ptr variable whereas we when we are want whenever we want to access the value present or the value of a using ptr what we do is we use the star operator so what this indirectly does is star ptr will actually imply star of 456 what this then does is it goes to the value present at the memory location 456 since the value present at memory location 456 is 10 star ptr gets evaluated to 10 so star ptr is nothing but star at address a which is nothing but a which is now let's try to work with dynamic memory allocation. Here what we did is we assigned the address of another variable a to ptr. Now what we can also do is we can instead create our own variable or allocate a certain amount of memory for our own data type and assign that to ptr as well. So how we do that is ptr is equal to we use a new keyword to allocate some memory we represent the amount of space required for uh, for our data which we are storing using the data type which we will be storing in it so in our case that will be int so ptr is equal to new int will be equivalent to saying int a in the sense that we assign some memory to this variable a which can now store an integer in it now what if we want an equivalent of int a equal to 10 wherein we are actually we actually want to initialize it with some value that is done using a similar pattern wherein within brackets we point out we give the value which we want our newly assigned memory to be initialized with so what this does is now ptr will actually point to a memory location which has now been initialized with the value 10 now since we took the liberty of actually initializing space on our own or rather allocating space to our new variable on our own we also must make sure to delete whatever space we had given to this variable using the delete keyword to so delete ptr what it does is whatever address is being pointed to by ptr that will now get deallocated so this is how you would create uh, you would use the new and delete keywords and operators to dynamically assign some memory and to dynamically deallocate it as well dynamically allocate and deallocate memory now what if i want to create an array what if i want 10 such integer variables and i want to want to be able to dynamically allocate memory to it how we would proceed with doing that is say i want an integer of size n uh, i want an array integer array of size 10 how we would then uh, create an array would be something like this wherein we use the square brackets and within which we write the size of the array what this will do is then it will make space for n such integers contiguously and the first address of that array will be assigned to ptr how we deallocate that memory is using something like this wherein uh, delete followed by empty square brackets or the size within the square brackets as well so empty square brackets followed by the pointer name which is storing the address so this is how you would allocate memory to an array and how you will deallocate memory as well so this has been all about in an introduction a brief introduction to how we define declare initialize a pointer and how we can use dynamic memory allocation along with pointers how we allocate memory using the new keyword 
for both normal uh, data types for uh, arrays and also how we deallocate such allocated memory thank you